what is up you two welcome welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to be doing a marble green french tip nails but before we get started please like and subscribe follow me on all social medias and let's get straight into it I did skip a few parts like pushing back the cuticles and using the cuticle bead but here as you can see I have the tips on from Amazon extra extra long tips and I'm here cutting it with scissors I advise you to use a nail cutter but I unfortunately couldn't find mine so um, we're just gonna proceed with the scissors now this is medium length so here i'm just putting them side by side from each finger just to make sure that everything is in the same length as i always say for a more crispy and sharp shape i always cut the sides of the nail tips and then I go ahead and file. I'm going to be using the Pana 8080 grit file, um, as I always say as well. Always use the 80 grit if you want that sharp, crispy um, shape. A lot of people I've seen use 100 and 180. To me, it's just like a buffer file for me. The monomer that I'm going to be using is by Glam and Glitz, um, but I think I'm going to just stick with Valentino and Kiara Sky. So if you like Glam and Glitz, it's alright, but I prefer the other ones. Stay tuned for videos on how to make your acrylics. Um, I did make this acrylic. It is kind of glittery. It's not like a smooth plain um acrylic it's glittery most of my acrylics are glittery um and then some are plain but if you want to make a glittery texture then stay tuned i'll be making videos like that now these what i use is like a powder i forgot what's that called but it's like a powder that just naturally has glitter um and then you can also use chalk but yeah, you guys stay tuned This nude acrylic is by Kiara Sky. It's called The Perfect Nude. I just love how brown it is. I prefer The Perfect Nude by Valentino, but I just love this nude. It's really, for me, it's like for Christmas time, so, or any holiday. Um, I don't really like the Kiara Sky acrylics. I still prefer Valentino, because it's just buttery but i think it was because of the monomer that i used so i'll rate it about a eight yeah <laughs> for most of my marbles i always use clear a lot of people use white but i only add a little bit of white most of the time i just use clear i just feel like it just gives it a more marble and then if you add a little bit touch of white it'll just look even better Make sure that your brush is wet and your acrylic is kind of runny. Otherwise, you won't be able to do the marble effect. I also 
use the clear click from let me see i forgot what's it called me a secret there you go and then the white is from kiava sky but i also recommend the clear acrylic from valencino This is how the French tip looks like while fouled. I did also forget to record the process of fouling and adding the acrylic on the pinky side. But as you can see here, I'm going to be doing the marble on the middle finger acrylic. But to me, this was just so hard. I don't know why it was so hard to do the acrylic. I feel like it was because I didn't have enough space to do the marble effect. But as you can see, the marble effect, I also encapsulate it with clear um because when you do marble effect you will have like a it, it's not going to be smooth like you have to encapsulate it with clear By the way you guys the brush that i am using is by kiara sky as well um so far it's been a very good brush ever since i started using it i feel as though that my sets have been better with the application and everything um so i 100 percent recommend So this is how I like to file you guys. I want, you want to make sure that you're following straight, especially if it's square shape. Because if you are not following straight, like I always say, you will get a coffin shape. So I like to make sure that the acrylic is not stuck also with the, um, with the skin. And then it may seem like I'm going a little bit rough, but trust me you guys, I'm no client is being hurt by the process for the rhinestones um i don't use any specific type of gel or rhinestone glue whatever they sell for that i just normally use um top coat but i also encapsulate it after so this is why my client's rhinestone never falls even for me it just never like it never falls nothing ever happens it always stays on because i like to encapsulate it um i don't recommend doing that but that's just that that's just how i do it so these rhinestones are also from amazon most of the things that i get are from the amazon valentino kiara sky and summer from Glam glamming glitz but yeah you guys this is what i do you will see in the next few clips on how i encapsulate it This is just my favorite part to me. It's just so satisfying to see these nails acrylic go from matte to glossy. Oh my God. So this is the Valentino top coat. And as you can see, this is the part what I was talking about on how I encapsulate it. I just add um, clear top coat on top and on the sides. Some people don't do this. So this is what I'm talking about that I just kind of put it on top that way it kind of just sticks onto the sides and it just doesn't fall so this is how i do it i also forgot to mention make sure that you guys are cleaning the sides of your nails when you're done adding the top coat you will see in the few clips there you go i always clean the sides if you want a crispy shape always clean the sides because sometimes the top coat will kind of ruin your shaping so you always have to clean the sides
so the last step but not least is adding the cuticle oil i do also give my clients a bit of lotion from bath and body works but i do that right after the pictures because it also ruins the shine of the nails so while i'm adding the cuticle oil i kind of run it up a little bit towards the finger that way the pictures it just looks amazing it just gives it a touch like it's everything is shiny hydrated so i recommend doing that and this is the final results you guys i hope you guys enjoy and love the results let me know down in the comments below um lots of people are asking me where i'm located i'm located in northeast philly pa and you guys i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys on my next one Please,